Hey, what's up, guys? It's um, Envy here, and I'm just trying to show an, uh, an, our newest simulation we have here. We're putting a, um, a heavy mass object here. Uh, what, what I mean by heavy mass object is a uh, object that's got the mass of 0 0.10 of our sun's mass, you know, about 3,000 degrees Kelvin. And um, I'm putting this object at an actual orbit of about 11,000 years, which is, you know, about what we're hearing about the actual orbit of Elenin or the heavy mass object that could be behind it. Um, so let's just um, run this simulation here. You know, it's where it's at right now. Since we're starting this heavy mass object, right there, it's out about 511, 500. And 11 AU right there 511 AU so I'm gonna go over here it's actual um, physics program uh, universal sandbox uses actual physics and um, really good program and we'll run our heavy mass object as you see the orbit there into our solar system and I'm given uh, <laughs> giving it a break there I'm not even actually bringing it into our inner solar system I'm actually giving some leadway here. I'm, you know, giving a little bit of lead, leniency here. I'm actually putting it, you know, coming out. So uh, if I put it closer to Earth and our inner solar system, it would be a lot more severe. So, you know, but we'll work on that in the future because, uh, as you see here, watch. Now, pay no mind to the date. Is the date the uh, date and times are not set, but. You know, let's, let's run the simulation here and see what this heavy mass object does to our solar system as this comes in. You know, watch. I even got the, uh, our dwarf planets. This is our entire solar system with dwarf planets in, in, in involved. And, and obviously there, up oh, there goes Mercury. There goes Mercury getting, uh, uh perturbed by it already. Mercury's getting perturbed. Alright. There's our heavy object coming in. And we're coming in at 100 days. For every second that goes by, this object's coming in at 100 days. So there goes Mercury. Speeding off with this heavy mass object coming in. Now, as you can see, the heavy mass object is coming in and in, in, in the AU watch the AU decreasing right here which proves that this object is coming into our solar system watch the AU orbital elements the AU is decreasing for our heavy our heavy mass object which is centered and the main focus of the screen now watch mercury's gone it's already gone away just slingshotted out of here because of our heavy mass object. Now remember, like I said before, heavy mass object is only one tenth the mass of our sun. Right there. See the mass? The mass of our sun. One tenth. Zero point one. It's one tenth of our sun. That's what this heavy mass object is. Let me pan around and zoom around a little bit here. Alright. And the first one we lost was Mercury. There goes Mercury. We lost we lost it. At let's go back to the or, orbital parameters. Or orbital elements. We're only at what are we at? Five hundred and thirty-seven AU, and we're, we're still getting closer. It's not looking good. We'll zoom out a little bit. Come from the top. All right. Here's our heavy mass object. Mercury is already gone. We're at five hundred eight. Five hundred eight AU.
let's come over here. There's our heavy mass object. You see the orbit I have it set for. There it is. It's, you know, it's given some leadway. I got it pretty much, it was almost, you know, outside the asteroid belt, but it's being, everything's being de deterred. Betwer betwer I mean, it's, it's causing chaos. I mean, just look. Look. Watch. Heavy mass object coming into our solar system. Look at that line. It's way out there. I don't even have it coming anywhere close to our, our Earth orbit, even Saturn. You know, nowhere's near that. It's causing total chaos. You know, <laughs> Mercury already got up. And look, now we lost Venus. Mercury, we lost already. Now we lost Venus. And the heavy mass object is still at what? Where's our heavy mass object at? Look, it's still only at 500. And look, at see, the AU is getting um, closer because it's... See, the heavy mass object that I have, which is one-tenth of our sun, is getting closer. Faster because it's getting closer to our sun, so it's starting. The speed is increasing of this heavy mass object that's up here. It's as it gets closer to our sun, the speed will increase of it. Whether it's a binary star or not, it doesn't matter because, as you see here in the inner solar system, with our planets and our dwarf planets, it's causing total chaos. Look, watch, watch what's going on. We already remember we already lost Venus and Mercury. I'll zoom back out. Where are they at? Yep, there's Mercury. There's Venus. Let me zoom back in to the inner solar system. Here comes our heavy mass object still coming in. There's there's Eris. Here we go. Just look at how everything's being disrupted. Total chaos. I mean, look. Saturn's off. Jupiter's off. We'll zoom in a little bit. Dwarf planet, Pallas. There goes, uh... Notice we have no Mercury or Venus because they're gone. They got, already got shot out because of the magnetic effects from this... Our sun, which is highly magnetic, you know, it's it's a star, and and then we have this heavy mass object, which I'm running in this simulation. There it is. There it's coming in. It's causing more chaos as as it comes in. You see the more chaos that's being transpired in the inner solar system as this heavy mass object comes in. And remember. Um, this heavy mass object is only um, right here. Let's click on it. Look at that. The heavy mass object, one tenth of our sun. One tenth. 3,000 Kelvin. All right. Our sun is at 5,778 Kelvin. I got this, this uh, object, heavy mass object, set at 3,000 Kelvin, which is little. A little above half. I mean, come on. So, let's center back on that. Let's center back on our sun in here. Let's zoom back in a little bit. Change the angle. And just look at what's going on here. Here's our heavy mass object. I mean, come on. Remember, each second that transpires in this simulation is right here. One hundred, one real second equals one hundred days. So think about the time frame we're talking here. I mean, I could speed this object up. I mean, it wouldn't have much different effect. But there's the heavy object, heavy mass object, and there's the actual trajectory of it. And um, you've seen what it's done already. Maybe I'll speed it up a little bit. 
I could speed up the simulation and bring it in a little bit so you see how it transpires a little bit faster so I don't take up too much time and we'll come back around here and we'll we'll, we'll get behind this uh, heavy mass object and we'll actually watch it come in to our solar system from this perspective you know let's look over here up oh, we already got mercury out there and we got Venus out there look at them there's Venus there's Mercury. And that happened a while ago. A while ago. Alright. And our object's at, you know, in the 400 neighborhood of AU. Let's zoom back out a little bit. So we can get a perspective of what's going on with our solar system. I'm going to zoom in, focus the main attention on our sun while it's, it gets a little bit closer here. I'm going to speed up the time a little bit. I think I went a little bit too fast. But you get the perspective. Thanks for watching.